All right, Saturday morning. Welcome back to the garage. Feeling a little bit old today. Feeling a little stiff and sore from all that uh, getting down, getting up, twisting, turning. Long day yesterday. Pain in the car, but it was uh, all worth it in the end. Pretty happy this morning having a look at this in uh, a little bit better daylight. And I did uh, see one little run up here in the corner just on the bulkhead. I don't know if you can see that or not, but nothing major. Probably never even see that. But other than that, it looks pretty good, other than the little bits of dirt that I've got to sand out that I mentioned yesterday. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit of another uh, painting project uh, this morning. Um, we're just about to tape off the front valence area from the factory, very much like the TR6 was. These were actually painted flat black on the face of the valence uh, that uh, goes behind the grill. Originally from the factory, these were hand brushed. You could actually usually see the brush marks or the brush strokes in the paint from the factory. We are not going to hand paint this. I thought about it, but uh, we're not going to. Uh, we're going to mask it off and we're actually going to just uh, rattle can it with some, it's supposed to be flat black. Um, I have got some semi-gloss black, so we're just going to go with that. So that's what we're going to do. Mask it off, sand it down a little bit, probably just with a little scotch bright or maybe a little bit of 400 grit and uh, we'll rattle can the uh, front of this uh, in order to move on to the next step. I want to do that before I put it back on the chassis. It'll be a little easier to do that now than to do it later. So that's what we're going to do this morning. So I've got a couple uh, rolls of tape out. I've got a little fine line tape going on there and some other tape. And we're just going to uh, mask off the areas we don't want to get the uh, flat black on and uh, we'll come back and we'll show it to you before we uh, before we spray it, we'll show you it masked up. All right, got the masking done on the front of the car, and wherever you don't see tape is obviously going to be black. We're going to actually put some back masking in behind there as well once we finish uh, sanding down this area with a little bit of uh, gray scotch bright. So we'll scuff this area up, we'll do a little bit more masking to prevent some overspray, and uh, then we'll break out the uh, rattle can. All right, we've got it all masked off now, so it's been sanded down, it's been wiped down, I'm just thinking about why bother with uh, masking off these headlight areas. It's probably because of the factory they already had the headlight buckets in when they did the actual brush painting. So anyway, it's uh, on all of the grills that I've seen, the original grills, the paint behind the buckets is undisturbed. So we've masked that area off anyway. You'll never see it. But uh, anyway, that's as per original, or as close as original as possible. Not that I'm an originality freak, but figured we masked them off if I could, and it was no big deal. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and spray it with this um, trim and bumper paint. Like I mentioned, it's about semi-gloss. This is the um, same paint I use for the trim rings on my dash gauges. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll use this can up. I'm trying to use what I've got up in the cupboard. So again, it's supposed to be flat black. This is more like a semi-gloss, but I think it will be just fine. All right, guys, painting is now done. We'll just let it dry for a little bit, and uh, we'll come back and unmask it, show you the end result, and then we'll have a little bit of a garage chat before we call it a day out here. It's going to be a very short video, but I just wanted to talk about uh, next steps. All right, guys, we got her all unmasked, so let's take a quick look at it. It's uh, a little difficult to see, because that black and the royal blue are fairly close in color. So there it is. Obviously that would be a lot more striking on a jasmine car or a white car. There would be no mistaking it, but uh, you sort of see the two tones here. The black and then the blue on top. So that is done. So another thing scratched off the list. So next thing is we'll discuss the next steps for this project and I've got a list written down over here. All right, so let's talk about next steps. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm a bit of a list guy, so I tend to write things down as I think of them in order to get to an end point. In this case, the body on the frame or body on the chassis is the end point. So there are certain things I want to do or need to do before I get to that point. So these are in no particular order. As a matter of fact, the first one will probably take place about two or three days from now. That is the wheel well cut and buff. As mentioned, there is some debris. Uh, I think it fell from the garage uh, door tracks as we were painting and as the wind was blowing in from the door pretty strongly. It was pretty breezy yesterday. I think it disturbed some dust up in the tracks. 
Anyway, um, those will need to be cut and buffed to get rid of that debris. I do want to let that clear coat set up a little bit uh, more over the next couple of days. So that's probably two or three days away before we get to the cut and buff, buff stage on the wheel wells. So that would be number, number one. two on the list, the body mounting kit. So I do have one body mounting kit, brand new, out here in the garage somewhere. We'll have to track that down. I think I have another two kits in the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring all three of the kits out. We're gonna have a look at which one is the best quality and which one is the most complete and we'll decide which one we want to use. Number three and number four, these are kind of things I kind of wish I had done before I put the chassis in the trailer. First one is tap the chassis. And what I mean by that, are all the body mounting connections, I want to go through and I want to tap and clean out to make it a little bit easier when we go to actually mount the body with the body mounting kit. There's also a few areas on the chassis that I wanted to touch up with paint before the body goes on it. In particular, if you remember that area where I squashed the rear t-shirt section to put in that Nissan differential, that's one area I want to touch up. There's a couple other areas that have got a few scuffs from, you know, just being out in the garage and being worked on over the past couple of months. So we'll do a few paint touch-ups on the chassis before we uh, continue on to our last point. All right, next item on the list to discuss is the uh, gas pedal and the shaft which is hanging up here on the garage. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. up There's the throttle pedal up there and the shaft with the bell crank attached to it. So that goes here between these two points. There are bushings that go in here and that point there and over here. So a lot of guys will put this in before the chassis and engine go back in. Just uh, there's a bit more space to work to be able to do that. Some guys will wait because there's always a risk of hooking that throttle shaft or that pedal shaft on the back of the head and bending it. So, you know, pros and cons to uh, both ways. So we're gonna put it in before we put the body on. Last item before we get to body on frame, frame pockets. And if you recall, I had to cut some pockets out to uh, make room for that extra reinforcement that we have on the rear of the frame differential carrier. So those pockets are actually over here and these need to be scrubbed down and painted uh, and probably uh, truck bed linered on the exterior before we actually put them in. So in order to do that we're going to get some sealer, probably some dum-dum sealer, flexible caulking. Put the dum-dum down, put the pockets on and bolt those back in. So that's got to be done before the body goes on. So that is the list to enable us to get to the last point, which will be getting the body back on the chassis. So hopefully that'll make sense to you. There might be additions to this list as well as we go along, but we will endeavor to do this all, this list within the next week, so we can maybe get the body on the chassis by next Saturday. That's the plan. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And thanks for subscribing. We'll talk to you later.